everyone. Uh, my name is Rhiannon Jacobeck and I'm a graduate student at the University of Wyoming. I'm in, I studied wildlife. I'm in the Department of Zoology and Hobbs School of Environment and Natural Resources. And I'm the president of the Graduate Student Network. Um, and I'm also a teaching assistant for Principles of Fish and Wildlife Management, which is what I'm gonna talk to you about a little bit today. Um, so like everyone else, I've been having to uh, help in transitioning the, the class online. And um, in being a teaching assistant, I was trying to figure out how I could be most helpful and how I could make this class as, as effective for my students as I possibly could. Um, but what I found was that most of the advice and techniques that were out there uh, were geared more towards the main instructors, which aren't super applicable to me as a, as a teaching assistant. And so what I wanna do today is point out three things that I think are applicable and helpful for teaching assistants and hopefully they you can use them in your own classrooms and, um, yeah so uh, the first one is to make space for and somehow promote community promote community within your classroom uh, so our class before it went online was really active discussion um, people would ask questions a lot we you know really get derailed in class because we just talk about whatever questions people had so much, which is really great. And I know we as instructors are missing that. And I think students are also missing that. Um, so the discussion boards, I think are a really good way to mimic that. The students get to ask a question and then other students can respond to them and um, we can chime in and the students get to interact with us and we get to interact with them. So it can be this really helpful thing. And a second part within that, within that same concept is to also maybe take time to just connect with your students whenever you get the opportunity. So if you're emailing them, maybe take the extra 20 seconds to just say, um, hey, I hope you're well. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm, you know, in my apartment with my dogs and I'm going on a lot of walks. Anyway, here's your the answer to that question. Um, I think making space for and like letting people know that they still matter and that you still value your relationship with them is is really important um especially right now uh the second point i have is to take the time to check in with students so you as a teaching assistant probably have a little bit different relationship with the students than the main instructor you probably know them a little bit better and so um you'll be able to point out when there are students who might be really struggling um and maybe you can kind of intervene there and um and help out however possible. Uh, so you can do this by going under the people tab in YO courses and just see when they were last logging in and see how active they've been. There will be students that were really active in class and they were always there and they were always engaged and now they haven't logged on to YO courses and they have missed assignments. You should maybe check in with that student and make sure that they are doing okay and they have access to the resources that they need and um, just you know, generally be there as a uh, support measure for them. And the third and final point I have is to still be interactive and maybe use this as a point to experiment a little bit. And so, uh, for example, we have set up uh, an assignment, a discussion board where each student has to watch the lecture video and then they have to post a, a question that they have from, um, from lecture. And we expected that this would be, you know, pretty basic stuff like what is this definition of this word or I was confused about that very particular thing but students are asking like all sorts of really cool crazy questions that are like building on concepts from the class and connecting it to other classes and connecting them to their lives and they're just these really remarkable questions that we actually don't have time to answer um, as instructors we it would just take us way too long to respond to all of those questions so we've been picking a handful of them and doing like a, a little podcast um, where we are uh, where I know the questions that um, the students have asked and the main professor doesn't know what questions they are. And so it's basically like a, uh, a rapid fire round. Like if you listen to the podcast Ologies, Allie Ward has that little area towards the end of the podcast where she just asks a bunch of questions of the speaker and we are applying that in our, in our classroom. And of course, I don't know if it is working or if the students necessarily enjoy it, but I think it could be a really cool way for them to uh, learn material in a kind of informal way. It's um, but, it, but it's still engaging and they still get to, you know, maybe have that like feeling of connectedness with their instructors. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, if you have any questions or if you have any thoughts, if you have additional tips that you want to share, I think that would be great. I'm still very much looking for tips. So um, yeah, please follow up. Thank you very much.